Okay, believe it or not, I've used the two-step verification <laughs> since we first had it. Because naturally, Monica set it up for me. <laughs> and it's, believe me, I would say of the years that I've been in this business, what we talked about today is the most serious crisis I've ever seen. I mean, there's, there's nothing that can be more heartbreaking for somebody to lose their funds to purchase a home or their down payment or something. I mean, you just can't get over it. And as simple as it is, is that, and I was thinking today, there's a, a term that I've used in the past, it's called the triangle. And basically a triangle works, and what prompted me to talk about this is when Debbie talked about, okay, if you're sending an outgoing referral, should you talk to the agent at the other company? The, the answer is yes. So what you're basically doing is forming this triangle. You have you, the agent at the other company, and the buyer. You're gonna do better off with the triangle than you are with just sending the referral to the other person. Okay, another triangle, which I highly recommend, and I learned this from a person by the name of Mike McCann. And Mike McCann uh, works for, actually it's a Berkshire Hathaway company in Pennsylvania now, and he's been the top agent at that company. And his number one thing that he talks about is forming a triangle between the buyer, the mortgage person, and the agent. Because if you can work with the triangle with that buyer to get them more involved in the mortgage process and they actually get a loan approval, not some standard form letter that they get, but they actually have that loan, the chances of them buying a home from you is exponentially greater. And what he basically did with all the buyers was he would get those people in and form that triangle between the real estate agent, the buyer, and the mortgage agent, because if they got that loan approved, I don't know about you, but if I get a loan approved, I usually don't go someplace else to see if I'm gonna do better. Okay, so we have the same thing here, if you think about it. The triangle is gonna be between you, the buyer or seller, depending on who's borrowing funds, and the uh, closing agent, that's the title card. And the best way, I mean, if, if we would have had everything that was said here today, everything that Nathan said, and I said, okay, go home and read this, you know, how many people would read it? But when we talked about it, you hear it. So I think the number one way that we're gonna stop this is that we need to communicate with the people about this wire fraud and what the problems are with it. But I, I think that the less that we can put on email about our transaction, you know, the better off we're gonna be. And I was at this conference, it was in Polar, Wisconsin, uh, last weekend and we had title companies from california to boston to florida to texas canada it's rampant they talked about this for four and a half hours about the wire fraud so it is it is a serious thing so but anyway that's what i wanted to mention with that uh the other thing is is that what we need to do uh look at more is the luxury portfolio that we have through leading real estate companies in the world it is a powerful program and we are, we're not using it enough. And I think that's why we want it featured in our listing leave behind that we have. But it'll help you get these listings because the people, especially if they go on the luxury portfolio website, that they will see, they will see the difference. So. But finally, what I'd like to do is again, I'd like to welcome uh, uh, Lori Tubbs and our commercial advantage team joining with us. Uh, I think it's just gonna be a wonderful uh, experience for everybody here. The referrals that we can get from our residential people is going to increase the amount of business that we do. And the other thing is going to be a huge part of our infrastructure because probably within the next six months, we're going to have an additional 84 by 8 billboard signs throughout Northwest Indiana with both the Macaulay and the Macaulay uh, Commercial Advantage team on this. And that infrastructure, again, are the things that helps us, what I feel is the most important metric in real estate, and that is the listing appointment. There's not many people in this room today, if they get called for a listing appointment, that they're not going to get that listing. But if they call our competitor, we're not going to get it. So what I feel that our biggest job is, is to create this infrastructure that gives you a better percentage chance that the average family that knows 10 realtors, is that they're going to choose you for that listing appointment or to talk to you about it, which gives you that chance of getting the listing. Thank you, and I appreciate the attendance today. And uh, I guess I'm in charge of the weather. It's going to be 81 degrees. <laughs>